Tonight's military matters. Thousands of our soldiers have been injured in the war on terror, many serving under President George W. Bush. But today, the former commander in chief served them with his warrior 100K bike ride. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore was at that ride this morning. He joins us now with the story. Andrew. Chris, today around 50 soldiers arrived at Prairie Chapel Ranch through the applause of dozens of volunteers. They all had two things in common. They suffered injuries in the war on terror and they overcame those injuries for the 100K journey today. After spending some time with former President George W. Bush, the group cleared up to uh, hang out with the commander for a while and then got on the trails on his Crawford Ranch. The 100 kilometers is roughly 62 miles and the Warriors would travel 20 of those miles today. Not all of those were easy, especially for veterans who had lost an arm or even an entire leg serving our country. But the veterans powered through the rocky trails and narrow passes across the ranch to reach that finish line. They say it might look tough, but actually it helps them heal. I absolutely believe it helps people heal. Yeah, you, you're, you're around other people that have an understanding of what you've been through. We, we followed him in the war, um, you know, back, in, back when we served, and uh, we, we continue to do that. Today was the seventh year the Bush Institute Military Service Initiative held the ride, and this year was an alumni-only event coming up at 10. Hear from more of our soldiers about the struggles they overcame to ride with the president today. Chris? All right, Andrew, thanks so much. Let's